What are my thoughts about what? Running for re-election in 2026. Oh. That's right. Uh, Did you hear the question, Senator? Running for re-election in 2026? Yes. All right, I'm sorry, you all, we're gonna need a minute. Senator, Penny. Somebody else have a question? Please speak up. Bipartisan cooperation and a string of uh, I'm sure go back to your Do you want to say anything else to the press? Go ahead, John. I'll take it. Let's go back to you. Go ahead, John. So this is the, uh, we're coming up on the one year anniversary of the IRA. And, uh, I would like to support a yes vote on this. Um, it provides $823 billion. That's an increase of $26 billion for the Department of Defense. And the, it funds priorities submitted. Yeah, just say aye. Okay, just aye. aye. <laughs> Thank you. Senator Dianne Feinstein has insisted she's in good health, but an interaction with two reporters, including Ben Oreskes of the LA Times, is raising doubts. What has the response from your colleagues been like? What have the well wishes? What have you heard? What have I heard about what? About your return. How have they felt about your no, return? No, I haven't been gone. Okay. Um, you should follow me. I haven't been gone. I've been working. You've been working from home is what you're saying? No, I've been here. Um, I've been voting. Please, either know or don't know. As you heard, the senator seemed unaware she'd been absent for three months. The California Democratic member of Congress I spoke with had a, had a recent interaction with her that took place several weeks before uh, the passing of her husband, which happened in February. And, and over the course of several hours of that conversation, uh, not only did they not have the type of conversation that they were used to having with Senator Feinstein over the years, a very detailed, rigorous policy discussions, not only did they not have that, they found themselves having to introduce themselves to her after years of working together, more than a decade, and then reintroduce themselves because she was forgetting parts of the conversation that they'd already had. Uh and now I'm standing next to the president again, next to a, a collapsed bridge here, and he is here to commit to work with the governor and the, the, the delegation to make sure that we get this fixed quick, fast as well too. This is a president that is committed to infrastructure. Yeah, and then on top of that, uh, the, the jewel uh, kind of a uh, uh, law of the inflation uh, uh, bill that is gonna make sure that there's gonna be bridges all across like this, all across the America getting rebuilt. And we brought Israelis and Palestinians together at a political level, and they are and the and Akwa uh, and his old Shram. And as I uh, affirmed, the Prime Minister.